Good morning, friends. It has been quite some time since I have posted a video. Um, let's just say life has been everything but slow. Uh, it's been just a, a crazy couple of weeks, lots of busyness, lots of things happening. Um, there's been some times of just quietness and like nothing happening on the calendar. And uh, those have been the days that we've just kind of, you know, hunkered down and tried to find rest in all of the, the, the things that are happening. But hey, life is good. Um, and God is beginning to do a lot of really cool and exciting things. Um, if you remember, we kicked off the year uh, saying that it was going to be our epic year. And, you know, we were going to really try to, uh, you know, chase after the, the dreams that God has um, kind of laid before us, the, the things that he's put on our hearts. And um, so we've been doing that. We've been doing that a lot, um, especially with Harvest, you know, and really trying to, um, uh, you know, go after this this exciting and scary and awesome and challenging thing of planning a church. A um, couple of great things here real fast. Uh, uh, we welcome some new members. I posted that on the blog already uh, this past uh, month. Um, that's always exciting when you when you have those people commit uh, to the ministry and want to become uh, more connected with the local body of Christ in a way that you know gives them um, you know real significant belonging. You know, not just uh, you know showing up and being at church, but becoming part of the church. And I and I love when when God moves in people's lives to bring them to that. So that's really exciting. We're in the uh, almost the middle of a of a series called And So It Begins and. Um, the whole premise of the series, as we think about uh, church planning and and growing, um, one of the things that we've been doing since you know the conception of the church is praying that God opens the doors and brings people to us, you know, so that we can grow and and become a church and, and do all those things. Um, but really, we haven't done much more than just prayed. Uh, and I've really become convicted, uh, you know, towards the end of last year. Um, that you know that we were missing something. You know, yeah, we were praying, and that's great, and we believe that God will answer our prayers. But um, in thinking through that, we haven't seen very much growth. We haven't seen people come, and so I would, you know, I kept on wondering, what is this that we're not doing right? Like, what's what's the thing that's that's catching us up? Um, and so, as I said, I was reading through Scripture and studying and praying and. Um, uh, you know, reading books and things, it just kind of pressed on me more and more and more that that this needs to be more than just us praying. Um, I was reminded of uh, the movie Facing the Giants and the wonderful scene in there where Mr. Bridges comes to uh, Coach Taylor and he has this um, word from God and, and he gives this little story of the two farmers who you know had fields and were in desperate need of of rain, um, and so they both prayed for rain, but only one went to prepare the field. And and uh, Mr. Bridges asks Coach Taylor, you know, you know, which of the two farmers truly believed or, or had faith that God would send rain? And Coach Taylor's response was, the one who prepared the fields. And that just resonated with me, and and I got down on my knees and I just said, God, is that what we're missing? And so this whole series has been that. Um, preparing the field and and working and just going through some basic things that I believe God has put into the scriptures to remind us that you know, there's a part of ministry that we actually need to do. Yeah, we need to pray that God's going to do things. We need to pray that God's going to move in people's lives and we need God to change, li uh, change hearts. But if we're not doing something in all of that, like participating with God, then, you know, we're missing out on uh, the opportunities to actually see growth, and so that's what um, that's what our season is all about. And so we've covered some good topics already. You may have already read them on the blog. If not, I would suggest that you go back to the blog and you look them up and you read them. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, I just wanted to do a quick little uh, five-minute video to say, hey, uh, check in with you and let you know that we're doing great, um, that things are going well, and that we're 
you know, just excited about what God's doing, and we anticipate Him to do a whole lot more. But we want you to come and be a part of it with us. So if you are in the Peters Township, Cannonsburg area, won't you come and check us out at Harvest Church and see what we're all about and enjoy this epic year with us as God does great things in our lives. Uh, that's it for now. Check out the blog, www.jhyam.com. The link will be on the bottom of the video or at the end of the video. And then you can visit us at Harvest Church at harvestchurchtoday.org, and you'll find a link for that as well. Look for us on Facebook and Twitter, and you'll also find my uh, stuff for that uh, also at the end of this video. So that's it. My five minutes is up. I want to talk to you uh, later. Have a great uh, day, and hopefully I'll be back real soon.